we received early access to the new futuristic factory building game Satisfactory by Coffee Stain Studios. I generally like uh, playing strategy games, but this one combines FPS and strategy elements in one. So let's check it out. I always loved the look of massive automated factories, and this game gives you a chance to build your own. The fictitious corporation Fix It runs the show, and they want to industrialize every accessible alien planet. So what do they do? At the start of the game, we get to choose between grass fields, northern forests, and a rocky desert. We chose grass fields, and our character is dropped down onto the alien planet with very basic tools. which in my view i would love to have access to in the real world well the main premise is to construct explore exploit and of course automate the world looks beautiful we get access to an open expanse of land to explore so let's get building first the controls take a little getting used to but once you get the hang of it it becomes second nature if you are a gamer a few minutes would be enough We first build a hub using the construction tool. The hub is like the heart providing upgrades and a means to craft new materials and usable resources. Now that the hub is built, we can use the same construction tool to scan for resources. This is where exploration comes into play and the vast lands have resources some close and some quite far away. The view being a first person shooter angle makes you need to move around pacing the environment working on machines and also scouting for resources. This is a major difference between standard strategy games and satisfactory. As we generally just scroll around in strategy games, in this game we have to actually walk virtually to scout the area. The world is massive with varied flora and fauna and each area has its own ecosystem. The world is not devoid of danger. Alien residents don't like visitors and actively attack when in range. Some smaller alien creatures go down with a couple of blows, but there are big ones that might be better off just finding a way around until we have bigger and better weapons. I have noticed the more we construct into the land, the creatures seem to move away with every encroachment. The creatures also seem to stay away from our factory and none seem to attack until now. Maybe a future update might have different systems upgrades which would make it quite fun. At present, not having much in terms of resources or weapons, we would like them to stay away. Once we get ourselves some basic resources, we start to build our factory. The priority being amass resources. There are quite a number of types of ores, the common ones being iron, copper, and limestone. Powering the factory initially is via biomass, which is produced from the leaves and wood scattered around. As we keep building and upgrading our tech, we get access to coal and crude oil, which burn slower, and also provide more power using their respective generators. Newer technology allows for faster mining and transport of ore to be brought to locations with no access to the same. The world is not randomly generated but meticulously designed by the developers sprinkling the right resources with the right amount of resistance by alien creatures which are not very tough to kill but are a bit irritating at times when you have a whole load of resources and you are killed making you drop everything at that location so next time you'll have to go and pick it up right under their noses when you die the character respawns at the hub which makes having you trek all the way back to the resources you drop a big task But this is more in the beginning where we don't have access to transport means like tractors, trucks, blade runners that make you run fast and some falls don't even hurt you on that. And my favorite, the jetpack. The jetpack needs fuel, so only after you manage to gather crude oil using the jetpack will be possible. Being an early access game, it was natural to find a virtual barrier. This was an area where if I had tried to cross, I would start taking damage quite fast. This must be a way the developers are telling us that the area is not ready. We also managed to hitch a ride on the manta ray. At present I have early access of the game and many more tiers are yet to open up. The developers might have many more surprises under their sleeve which I'm eagerly waiting for. I didn't think I would get this addicted to the game, but the different environments, the gameplay and the satisfaction of automating your factory keeps bringing me back for more. I would totally recommend you all give it a try. 
I love it and I'm eagerly waiting for the next update from the developers at Coffee Stain Studios. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching and see you all next time. Make sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. Also make sure to click on the notification bell to be informed when new videos are added.